Howdy, one of the two, one of the two, one of the two. Welcome back to the Five to Five Business. My name is Alexandra Kirk, and today's video is going to be about smell. Um, first of all, I want to, there's like two videos I wanted to record, but due to tech issues, I can't record either of them currently. So I'm going for something nice and easy until my technology decides to behave itself. Um, yeah, that's what it's eating all of your food he's eating all of your food <laughs> he loves this toy this is one of the um christmas toys that we've got available link below but he loves it he absolutely loves it um yeah not not a point of the video um <laughs> Today's video, like I said, is about smell. So anyone who has ferrets know that they smell. It's often one of the biggest complaints people have about them. And it's often the reason why people don't get them because, you know, of the smell. Um, but like this video, when I say this video is about like how to lessen the smell, I am not talking about getting rid of it because ferrets naturally have a musk. They have a sense, they have a smell that is part of them and should not and like if they don't have a smell then there's things wrong. I know in America sometimes they will try and de-scent them, which I don't really agree with because I believe there's research that indicates it can lead to certain um, diseases and whatnot. But in general, they have a smell. I actually quite like it. <laughs> I Obviously I am biased, but I quite like the smell and someone I know referred to it as honey or must um yeah so obviously but not everyone does like the smell and while you shouldn't try to get rid of the smell of the ferret there are many things that make the smell worse and which means that it can often be quite hard to bear the smell i mean like my fiance bless like he loves them and everything but he can't really be in the same room with them for too long because the smell does get a bit overwhelming so they, I'm going to talk about why they tend to smell worse, how to avoid making it worse, and how to make it better to handle and whatnot, um, and how to improve it. So first of all, big thing, do not bathe them frequently. They don't need a bath more than twice a year really, once or twice a year is fine. They're like cats, they groom themselves, they groom each other, they don't need a bath and if you bathe them frequently, that will strip their skin of the oils that that creates this yeah this scent but in doing so it actually um makes the scent worse because you have to build up more oil to replace what has been gone so yeah do not fit i know it feels sounds logical that you know if you bathe them they'll get rid of the smell but it will make it worse so that's a rookie mistake it's fine to be done that you know learn from your mistakes but just don't bathe them too frequently um the other thing is to spot clean daily. Um, I, so you don't have to like deep clean your cage or your room every day, <laughs> but definitely um, spot clean daily. You know, clean up if a, if they've used their litter box, just clean up a bit that's been used um, and whatnot. Just make sure that any bits of litter and used litter are out of way and gone. Um, don't keep bags like sort of. A, don't keep bags of um, dirty stuff in your room. I used to do that and it made the smell so much worse because obviously it's just lingering. Um, so if you've got like a bin that you use specifically to put like your know, used litter or with wipes or tissue, keep that outside your room. <laughs> um, another thing is heat. Heat will make all smell worse and in the summer that's, well, that's definitely an issue but um, Luckily, ferrets don't really need a lot of heat. They prefer to be on the cooler side rather than the warmer side, so you don't necessarily need to keep the room heated. Um, but just in winter and in summer, it's just something to keep an eye on that like smell. If it, if your room gets too hot, not only is it bad for ferrets, but it will make the smell a lot worse. Uh, what else? Um, bedding, if you have soft bedding, like hammocks, sacks, um, blankets and whatnot, clean those out like at least, ideally I'd re I would replace them and rotate them every uh, every other day, every two days I would you know change the bedding and wash the bedding um, because bedding, soft bedding will, <laughs> it holds on to smell and grime. And that will be an issue if you don't 
replace it very often. So that's why it's good to have a lot of different bedding so that you can ro rotate very frequently. Um, what should we call it? Yeah, stuff like hammocks isn't too bad because they are usually expensive and not likely to get um, feces treaded on them but stuff like blankets, anything that's on the floor will definitely need to be kept hold of. This includes, um, well not includes, but this also relates to carpets. If you have ferrets at free room and the, ro and the room has carpet, choose off a carpet at least once a week ideally more but you know once a week is probably about the best sort of aim for. And there's many different types of carpet clean that help eliminate odours and you know, just clean it. <laughs> because again, even if you have a nice hard wearing carpet like mine, it will hold on to scent. And again, this relates to any other soft things you have in your room. So I've got like this bed here that I need to clean every now and then. I've got this thing, which doesn't smell much, but like just something to keep an eye on if you've got soft furnishings in your room where your ferrets are, clean them whenever you like as, as often as you can. Maybe you can like make make yourself like a schedule or a rote or something just to keep up on it. Because otherwise the smell will get to you. Um when cleaning like cages and whatnot, I recommend using um cat stain and odour relief. <laughs> I used to just use like a hutch cage cleaner for like, you know, guinea pig and rabbit hutches. And it worked, but I just started using a um, cat odour and stain cleaner because ferrets, <laughs> their, their, their stink is very similar to cats. Because cat shit stinks a lot. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. But, um, and I've noticed a big difference. One, it cleans a lot better. It does help eliminate the smell quite a bit. And I get rid again I get like so it gets rid of stains a lot easier. Um there's a lot of pet stain remover stuff as well that you can use on carpets I have on because obviously it's basically come out of a cage can get a bit messy. Um and just general keep again, this is more like if you have free roaming ferrets in one room. Just clean the room at least like give it a good deep clean at least once a week. That uh, includes carpets, furnishing, getting rid of like washing toys, um, and just making sure everything is tidy. Um, honestly, it's pretty simple. Um, just yeah, just keeping up on everything, spot cleaning, soft furnishings, um, keeping your window open when you can can help. Sometimes uh, I know in the summer I would like keep a window open and have a fan blowing in the direction of window so that it would blow the smell out. <laughs> it sounds stupid, but it did work. Um, and if and uh, it's well, keeping a window open for a long period of time will definitely reduce smell. But obviously, this isn't feasible for a lot of people. If you're free, if your ferret is free room twenty four seven, or if you just there's a lot of reasons why you might not be able to have your window open, but if you can. Uh, consider it not necessarily in the winter but it's something to think about. Uh, you can get sprays that are specifically for eliminating um, animal odour that you use on soft furnishings. I spray it all over the carpet when my ferrets are in their cage um, and air fresheners uh, just that sort of thing really. Um, and also keeping an eye on their food. If you feed your ferrets raw, um, not necessarily, it doesn't have to be 24 seven, but if you do feed them raw at all, just double, triple check that they haven't stashed any raw food anywhere, like in a corner or underneath something that you might not have noticed because raw food will start to stink very quickly and it will not help the smell. <laughs> so just keep an eye on that as well. But I think those are probably all my tips. I'm trying to make this video slightly quicker than my usual ones because I feel I'm not rambling. But I, like I said, I do have other videos that I want to get out soon. It's just tech issues. <laughs> um, before I end this video, remember pre-order your advent calendar below. It won't be. It'll be. My God, I can't see today. Um, I won't be taking any more orders after the fifth of November, so that it has everything has time to get shipped out, especially with Royal Mail. Um, strikes going on so if you want one order one quickly because the quickie order the quickie you're guaranteed to get on time and without any issues but that is all for today so i will see you guys in the next video and i hope this helped if you have any tips 
leave them in the comments below. Bye.